All right, guys, we're going to get away from the diagnostic stuff for a bit, and um, I'm going to show you how to change out uh, axle bearings and seals on an 8.8 inch Ford rear. I just put this thing together for a uh, buddy of mine, and um, I should have videotaped it actually, but uh, didn't really think about it while I was doing it. And now that all that's left is I'm going to change out these bushings here. I got my tool attached here, and um, we're uh, we're going to do that when the, bu the bushings aren't here yet. But I do have the seals and the bearings, so that's what we're going to be doing. This here is the seal and the bearing is inside. I'm going to get a shot of that. I don't know if you can see it too well, but see the rollers. That's what we're going to change out so that this thing is completely fresh and ready to go in the Mustang. And um, I'm going to show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a seal puller. Something that looks like this. And you're going to need a bearing puller. Like this. And a slide ha on a slide hammer. Okay. This is going to make life easy. So, first thing you got to do is remove the seal. Which I already started to pop out. What you do is you just kind of get this in here, in front of the bearing and behind the seal. You can lift up, give it a couple of whacks, and pop it out like that. They're not, they shouldn't be too hard to get out. Okay, remember that's the inside. You're changing these obviously, but uh, helps to put them in the right way. And here's your bearing. Okay. We're going to clean all this out after we get the bearing out. And I'm going to see this can be, these can be a little difficult uh, to get out. So, right. so here's the tool to pull the bearings out of these rears, okay? i show you how this thing works. Here's your new bearing. I'm just showing you for demonstration here. The end of the tool is on a pivot. So you're going to slide the tool through the bearing, and you're going to pull it till it's flush, okay, and it's flat. You're going to screw this nut in all the way, and it's going to make contact on the other side of the cup with the bearing, right? Once that's tight, then you can start using your slide hammer to pull this thing out. I'm not going to screw this one all the way down because this is a new bearing, and we're not going to be doing anything with this, obviously, until we're ready to put it in. So here on the here on our uh, old bearing, you're going to unscrew this thing so you have enough to get this thing inside, and you can pull, okay, put pressure against it, and then you can feel that it's flush in there. You want this to go flat. Normally, you can tighten these hand tight from uh, experience that I've had, not having any issue. You don't really have to kill them. Just make sure it's tight and start pulling it off. That's it. Three shots and here's your old bearing. Let's unscrew this. your bearing. So we'll clean this up a little with some brake clean and a rag. That's all you need. Make sure there's no burrs anywhere that are gonna hang you up or cause a problem. Everything looks alright. So a little bit here of uh, damage that I'm not too crazy about but a little galling there. I'm gonna go over that with some emery cloth and uh, bang our new bearing in. Okay, so I'm pretty good with that, nice and clean. I'm mating to the surface for the bearing to sit in. Get our uh, bearing and reese driver. 
Run this up straight. And take a look. You can see she's nice and flush. All right. All right now. Hey. So here's what happened. <clears throat> so here's what we got. Looks a little different than our new one, right? Yeah. This was probably put in because the original one probably damaged the axle. She probably had wear on the axle, and they put this in to change the position of the bearing where it rides on the axle, if that makes sense. So, for instance, say the original bearing was like this, say, and it rode here, right? And something happened and it wore a spot in here. They put this so that it would change the the position of where the bearing rides on the axle to a different location where it's clean and new. And it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't have to change the axle. So that's what those are used for. This one, this this rear end's actually getting 31 spline Moser axles. And um, that is an Eaton carrier. It's in there. It's my brake cleaner. Uh, so it doesn't really matter. None of that matters. It's all new stuff. As long as the housing is good, which it is, uh, we don't care about anything else. Okay. So here's a new bearing again. Right. I'm going to pop that in. I did forget the installer. Hang on. Need this. Same as the other side, right? I'm going to start tapping this in. Flush. Yep, we're flush. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to put the seal in. I think I forgot to turn the camera on the other side. Here's our new seal. Put the seal flush, and you can just tap this in with a hammer carefully. You could use this once you get it started. You can use this. Just drive it in, flush, and that's it. And there's your new seal. Next is the uh, is the axles, and. We'll be ready to go. Oh, we have brakes too, but we'll get there. You get the drift, right? Alright, so we got a, uh, got a Ford tool here. Actually, I don't know if it's Ford, it's a bushing installer. Pretty simple. Put the bushing in. A lot of excitement in the shop today. A lot of excitement. 
This tool is going to set the depth on the bushing. When it's pressed in, this cup is going to catch it. It's only going to allow it to go in so far. So it sets correctly in the in the in the rear. You just push this in, tap it in. It's the other side of the tool. Just slide this in here. And now you gotta find the nut. There it is. Right where I left it. All right. Now, get a wrench. Be careful doing this so you don't slip. A uh, down until she stops. Put your stuff away so you don't lose it. The nice kit. I forgot to, uh, should have filmed the removal part of it, but these bushings have been in here forever and I don't know how long it was going to take. So I didn't bother, but uh, it actually took a while. They were very hard to get out. I actually ruined the first bolt that the tool came with. I had to go dig up another one. Between two shops we found a bolt and nut that works. So, there's your new bushings installed. And I actually have to go over the other one that was the first tool. And it didn't push all the way in. So we're going to actually run that in the rest of the way here while we're at it. Better than nothing, a bolt. You need a grade 8 bolt. You need a grade 8 nut. But it did the job, it's in. They're both in all the way. And that's that. These are old bushings. Seen better days.